Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we have an amazing multi-purpose material separator bug vac and small part recovery project, which is actually three projects in one video. This is great for any of those small part large volume cleanup projects where you actually want to recover all the materials to use again and you don't want them ending up in your dirty vacuum cleaner collection bag. This is great for picking up stuff off of carpets, blankets, and many other uneven surfaces that are hard to clean up. In the first part of the video, I'm actually going to walk you through the basic build, the parts you're going to need, as well as optional change-out parts in case you have a hard time finding some of the individual things you might need to make this. Then we're going to go on to the modified uses and seven specific mods that make this a fun and versatile tool. I'll explain these basic parts that we're using as we work through the video, but please note if you look in the description below, I will have a full and complete list of all the materials that I did use in this build. This specialized canister attachment for a vacuum is actually built on the exact same premise of my previous video where we made a manual mini vacuum. That's also linked in the description below. For the canister, we're going to actually use a repurposed food container. This one actually was given to me by Justin. When he handed it to me, he said, make something with this. As you note here, we're making two pilot holes to start drilling and making bigger and bigger slowly so that we can actually fit a one half inch threaded PVC piece and a three quarter inch threaded PVC piece. Both will be male adapters. With a three quarter inch male adapter in place, I went back and took a threaded sleeve. It's actually threaded on both ends, but you only need the one end to really hold it in place. I actually went back and switched out the half inch male adapter for a half inch by three quarter inch reducer. I secured the reducer with a threaded T. It's actually a half inch T that's threaded on all three openings inside. I'm definitely not a fan of loose connections, but I am a fan of unique solutions. So I grabbed a couple of these large mouth beverage containers and made a half inch hole and a three quarter inch hole. I then rebuilt the canister cap assembly using these bottle caps as spacers of sorts, kind of like a washer, putting the threaded side of the reducer and adapter straight through the top of the bottle cap. Don't have large mouth bottle caps? Try some tape. I find electrical tape works really well for securing up these areas. Just wrap it around the extra exposed thread. You'll note I added a half inch plug in the top of the T and another male adapter off the front of the T. I cut two short pieces of three quarter inch PVC. I put one in the adapter coming out of the top of the cap and then added a three quarter inch elbow. Then I put the other piece of PVC in the end of that. I'm gonna go ahead here and take the three quarter inch PVC and cut a piece that will go about two thirds of the way down inside of my container. Since your container may be different, I'm not gonna be specific about the length here. Just get it about two thirds of the way down inside and then add it to the bottom side of your T. Go back and get a half inch piece of PVC and stick it out of the front of the T. We're gonna use that as a wand. There is a PVC adapter that's just about the perfect size for any vacuum that you wanna hook up to this, but I'm starting with my shop vac. A two inch sleeve goes perfectly over my large bore hose and then I end up putting a reducer inside that lets me put a three quarter inch male adapter, which fits perfectly right next to our elbow. One of the things I love about using PVC for a vacuum wand is if you need to reach farther places, just get a longer piece of PVC. It's great for these simulated bug tests and real bug cleanup, so you can get it way out of reach so you don't have to get anywhere near the nasty bugs. With our first test complete, I want to show you a great way that you can add some stability and strength to your canister. Grab some zip ties and chain them together. Then wrap them around the two pipes that come in the top and the bottom. You don't need to pull them too tight, just enough so that it gives some stability when the pieces are split and pulled against each other. Another little add-on that I did here was take some window screen and put over the intake part. This way, any of our lighter materials don't accidentally get sucked all the way through and into the vacuum cleaner. Once you wrap the screen around, just use a zip tie to hold it in place. If you don't have any screen handy to use, you can jump to the one of the later modifications and take the sock approach that I'm going to show you later in the video. So you don't have a shop vac you want to use it on? Hey, let's make some adjustments and we'll make it work for your upright vacuum cleaner. This was actually really easy because all I needed to do was grab a 3 quarter inch connector sleeve and wrap one end with some electrical tape. A few wraps around was all I needed to make this particular adapter fit perfectly right inside the wand from the vacuum cleaner, which I could then attach right to my canister, used just like it did before. Here's another handy mod. I'm actually taking a repurposed vacuum hose that I salvaged from a vacuum cleaner that you're going to see me sacrifice in the future. But if you don't have one that you can sacrifice, you can actually buy this hose replacement kit 
at the hardware store. This actually works perfect to connect to my cone attachment for my shop vac. So now we're going to test it out for catching bugs for real. With your system set up, just turn on the vac and go around finding bugs, aim the wand, and the bugs are gone. You don't have to touch it, you don't have to squash it, and cleanup is so easy. Just go outside, open your container, dump it out, and you can wash the container. This next modification is amazing. Grab yourself some vinyl tube that has a 5 8 inch outside diameter, and that fits perfectly with a little force right inside a half inch piece of PVC. Guess what? That goes right in the end of the T, and you now have a flexible collection hose. Our next modification is a great way to safely and cleanly collect all of the little items that may be a little bit more delicate that you want to use your vacuum canister for. Rania donated this great mesh nylon bag that she got at a department store with some jewelry inside. But you can also find these at craft stores in the candy section. They're used for wrapping up candies in. You want to prepare the little piece of PVC? Then secure the bag in place with a rubber band. We're going to put everything back together and test out our two newest modifications. Let's go ahead and start collecting and recovering some stuff. We're going to start with wooden beads. You'll notice how these pull up nice and quick. I put them on top of a blanket here so you can see how easy it is to pick them up even off a tough surface. If the vacuum is too strong for the items that you're picking up, I'm going to show you a solution for that in just a minute too. But for now, let's go ahead and take the lid off and see how it worked out. It's pretty perfect. and. The beads are all clean. While we're at it, let's check out another use. Let's look at some kitchen spills that might happen. What about spilled beans or seeds or things like that? Quick and easy, same way, right into the bag, and you can reuse any of the items that you just cleaned up as long as you cleaned them up off of a clean surface. This next modification is also a great substitute for the nylon bag if you don't have one, but it's also for these kind of items where the nylon bag may not be strong enough to retain these particular kind of items. We're gonna cut a sock in half. In fact, this time it's one that's got its pair missing, probably lost in a dryer somewhere. We're gonna use it just like we did the bag and secure it with a rubber band. You wanna go ahead at this point and just reassemble it like you did with the bag. You'll note that for things like screws and bolts, this vinyl hose is not as effective, so we're gonna go back to the PVC wand. Just make sure that anything that you wanna pick up has a smaller length than the smallest angle in your collection wand area. You'll notice that when we open the canister, nothing falls out of the canister because everything was retained in the sock. So let's open up the sock and check what we got. Again, everything is clean because it didn't end up in a vacuum bag somewhere. I mentioned a little while ago protecting some of our more delicate things and we're gonna do that with flow control. That's our next mod. All you have to do is remove the plug from the top of the T and then when your vacuum is on, all you have to do is use your thumb over the top of the T to control that suction. If you don't need that much suction, just leave your thumb entirely off and it will work just fine and be a little bit more protective to the items that you're cleaning up. This time we cleaned up rice, but you could also use it for delicate plastic or glass kind of items as well. Depending upon what it is, just use the right pressure so it doesn't get broken. But here we have all the rice cleanly collected once again. So let's move on to our last modification, filter control. I'm using some of that leftover sock to cover where we put the screen before. In fact, if you didn't have the screen, you could just jump straight to this approach and it works great for your filter process. This we're doing now for cleaning up extra fine messes, which also would have gone straight into the canister if you're being honest with that mesh bag. But this way, we kept it all together and it works for glitter and stuff like that. When you're done, everything cleans up nice and can be stored right inside your canister set aside for the next time you need it. I hope you enjoy your new vacuum tool. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.